Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 20. There is a reproof that is not comely. Again, some man holds his tongue, and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that confesses his fault shall be preserved from hurt. How good is it when you are reproved to show repentance, for so shall you escape willful sin. As is the lust of a eunuch to deflower a virgin, so is he that executes judgment with violence. There is one that keeps silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling becomes hateful. Some man holds his tongue because he has not to answer, and some keeps silence, knowing his time. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. He that uses many words shall be abhorred, and he that takes to himself authority therein shall be hated. There is a sinner that has good success in evil things, and there is a gain that turns to loss. There is a gift that shall not profit you, and there is a gift whose recompense is double. There is an abasement because of glory, and there is that lifts up his head from a low estate. There is that buys much for a little, and repays it sevenfold. A wise man, by his words, makes him beloved. But the graces of fools shall be poured out. The gift of a fool shall do you no good when you have it, neither yet of the envious for his necessity. For he looks to receive many things for one. He gives little and upbraids much. He opens his mouth like a crier. Today he lends, and tomorrow will he ask it again. Such one is to be hated of Elohim and man. The fool says, I have no friends. I have no thank for all my good deeds. And they that eat my bread speak e evil of me. How oft and of how many shall he be laughed to scorn? For he knows not aright what it is to have. And it is all one unto him as if he had it not. To slip upon a pavement is better than to slip with the tongue. So the fall of the wicked shall come speedily. An unseasonable tale will always be in the mouth of the unwise. A wise sentence shall be rejected when it comes out of a fool's mouth. For he will not speak it. In due season. There is one that is hindered from sinning through want. And when he takes rest, he shall not be troubled. There is one that destroys his own soul through bashfulness. And by accepting of persons, overthrows himself. There is one that for bashfulness promises to his friend and makes him his enemy for nothing. A lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. A thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to heritage. The disposition of a liar is dishonorable, and his shame is ever with him. A wise man shall promote himself to honor with his words, and he that has understanding will please great men. He that tills his land shall increase his heap, and he that pleases great men shall get pardon for iniquity. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise, and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Wisdom that is hid, and treasure that is hoarded up, what profit is in them both? 
Better is he that hides his folly than a man that hides his wisdom. Necessary patience in seeking Yahuwah is better than he that leads his life without a guide.